What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and today I've got an interesting video for you on Origin. So if you started up Origin recently, unfortunately I closed it, at the very top there was a banner talking about their new EA desktop beta. Apparently it was a closed beta, but now it's an open beta and absolutely anyone can use it. Scrolling through their website, I'm unable to find that much info on it, but after a quick Google, I stumbled across this page over here. Welcome to the EA desktop beta registration. Thank you for your interest in the EA desktop beta. Registration is currently open for all Origin players. Please sign in to continue. So of course, this little screenshot over here gives you a better idea of what it looks like. It looks a bit more electronic slash discordy compared to the existing one over here. So I expect that's really what they've changed. All we have to do is simply click sign in and it'll be taken to a login page. From here, you should log in with the account you're going to play on. Then after logging in, you'll see this over here. Tell us what you think and we can go ahead and sign up right below it. Simply just check, yes, I am using a Windows PC, click to accept after reading these, and then we'll be asked to verify our information. Simply scrolling down and clicking submit will allow us to continue. So thanks for registering for the EA desktop beta. If we scroll around, we won't see much, but as you can see, keep an eye out for an email in the next few weeks announcing the live beta and next steps. From here, all we have to do is simply await an email from EA. And then after some time, you should eventually receive an email with a download link. Now, unfortunately, because I'm not too sure on the nature of this download link, I won't be sharing a direct download link, even though it doesn't seem to be very personalized. From the other beta videos that I've seen, they don't exactly have a direct download link, so I won't be including that. And looking at the EA desktop FAQ, they do mention that you can register for the beta as early as possible, and they'll notify you with an email on how to download it. Please note, completion of registration doesn't guarantee admission. Access is given on a first come, first served basis. So I would assume that they're slowly sending out emails, maybe 10,000 or 15,000 a day. Who knows how they're doing it, but because of this nature, I won't be sharing a direct download link as they themselves don't share one. But of course, if you do manage to find a download link on the internet, then you'll probably be able to log into it and use it directly. I'm not too entirely sure if it has to be enabled for your account first or something along those lines. Eventually, when you do get an email, simply clicking the download button in the email will immediately start the download for the EA desktop installer. I'll simply click on it to open it up and we'll see this over here. Welcome to EA Desktop, let's go. Then you can customize the installer options and continue. After a couple of seconds, it'll ask for admin permissions and then it'll continue downloading the actual program itself. We'll let this complete. And there we go, now it's downloaded. First, close Origin. Close both platforms, then reopen EA Desktop to continue. So I'll open my taskbar and close the original Origin application. I'm pretty sure that you'll have both of them installed. Then, opening up EA Desktop, we'll get dropped into this login screen over here. And at the very top, we can see it's currently a beta. Then all we have to do is simply log into the new system. So I'll go ahead and copy my login details and I'll add them here. Then I'll make sure to keep me signed in and I'll click sign in. Then I accept, next, and then we'll have to verify ourselves. I'll use the Authenticator app. Yes, this is the previous auth app that we used with the original EA Origin program. Entering my code and signing in, the window will disappear and will get dropped into this main screen over here. And this is the new EA Desktop. The future of EA Desktop starts with you. We'll need your feedback to make the app smarter and more intuitive, so have a look around, kick the tires, and let us know what you think. Tons of new features are on the way, so stay tuned and stay in touch. After clicking Let's Go, we'll get a very short preview of what we can do. So of course, with that all out of the way, we've got our browse game screen over here. This is what I assume what the store is. We can see what we can get with what plan and generally see what's trending. You can see EA Play, EA Play Pro, etc, etc. Heading across to my collection, you'll see a list of all of the games on your PC. Unlike the original EA Origin program, you can see that all of these Steam EA Play games don't seem to be showing up here. Why is that? Well, absolutely no idea. I guess that's just not in the actual program itself just yet, but we do have the option to join EA Play on the actual Origin platform. So can we go ahead and launch up the original EA Origin program? Well, actually we can. Clicking on it, because it's still installed, we'll get this over here. Origin is unable to launch while Origin Beta is running. Please close Origin Beta and try again. So in order to do that, simply just click the hamburger button in the top left and then click exit or do it from the start bar over here where the origin icon usually is. After exiting out of it, 
we can log into the original Origin platform. I'm pretty sure it'll ask us for a password and our authenticator code once again. And surprisingly, it actually doesn't. Now we're on the original Origin platform, and you can see what I mean by the Steam EA Play games weren't showing. All of these here are actually added because of my Steam subscription to EA Play. You can see they've got a little Steam icon right below them. And just before I end off this video, can we go ahead and launch up games from the Steam EA Play subscription with the new launcher? Well, let's find out. I'll go ahead and select a game from my current EA Play subscription, and I'll ask it to start. Let's see what happens. There we go. Uh oh, there was an issue launching a game like a superhero and his alter ego, Origin and Origin Beta can't operate at the same time. Close Origin Beta first, boot up Origin, and then you can launch your game from either Origin or Steam. So all we have to do is close out of the Origin Beta, and then we should be able to launch up our game inside of the old Origin client in just a moment when it realizes that it's actually closed. There we go, now that I manually opened the Origin store at least once, after closing the Origin Beta, we'll see that it presents me with the login screen, and after logging in once again, we should have the ability to play the game as you'd expect. And we do. It's currently starting up in the background, but instead of waiting for the program to start up completely, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Now you know how to download and install the new EA desktop beta. Hopefully you find something useful from it, and maybe they'll add some really incredible new features as time goes on. But anyways, thank you for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.